How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here with one of these. And I love checking out things like this. This is called the Handheld Game Station Enjoy High Quality Gaming Experience. Features video games, Wi Fi, uh, has your battery, and high resolution. Well, we'll see about that. We've seen a lot of these are hits, hits and misses, if you know what I mean. A lot of these are going to be hits and misses. Uh, always curious to check these out. This is courtesy of our friends at banggood.com. If you're interested in this, I'll leave a link in the description below. It's not a commission link. I don't make any money from sales, uh, but just letting you know where I found it. Unlike a lot of other systems like this that normally just do like Nintendo, Game Boy, stuff like that, this is supposed to do like Nintendo 64 and Dreamcast and PlayStation and stuff like that. So I'm very curious to see this. The Pandora Games Mini. Maybe it's Pandora Game Mini. <laughs> a little bit of startup stuff. Okay, here we go. And this looks promising. Actually, it looks pretty good here. All right. So we have uh, Ridge Racer 2. Can I move this thing around? Yeah, I, well, I can move it around a little bit. Actually, it feels pretty good. D-pad will work, too. We have Initial D. Okay. Well, it's already preloaded with a bunch of games on here. Magical Girl. I'm not familiar with this, but it looks cool. All right, so these must be like your, are these like arcade games or can you tell? I mean, it's the fighting games, I see. And then this looks like be a flying game. Oh, and it has the Dreamcast logo. So here's, okay, so here's Dreamcast stuff. Looks familiar. Um, bunch of Street Fighters. We have a, a Jackie Chan game here. Interesting. But I see category, re how do I get up there? Um, uh, start. Start goes to search, at least up there. Oh, okay, that'll work. Okay, so that's interesting. The start button takes you to this uh, category here. Uh, so we have your categories. And then can I go from... Okay, I can. Cool. That's what I was looking for. So here's PlayStation games. Um, Tekken 3, Tekken 2. That looks really fluid. A couple of Nintendo 64 games, including Mario 64. We'll check that out here in a moment. Here's your Famicom. That's your NES. You have your Super Famicom, which is your Super Nintendo. Bunch of games there, Chrono Trigger included. In English, okay, good to know. Uh, we have uh, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Mega Drive, which is your Sega Genesis. Um, this is your uh, PC Engine, your TurboGrafx-16. Nice, there's Bonk 2. Couple of Dreamcast games, nice. Bunch of arcade games, like the Street Fighters and stuff like that. Oh, and then here's MAME, so then you have the one and the other. Interesting. And then this must be your other arcade-style something or other. Here's a Dragon Ball Z game. Oh, looks kind of cool. All right, cool. Well, I'm curious, because it's not easy to emulate Nintendo 64. Okay. Wow. Well... Looks good. Again, I have the music turned down. I could pop in a headphone. Can I use the analog? I can. I can't move up or down, though. But I can use the D-pad, so it'll be interesting to play this as a D-pad game. But it does work. The controls are actually responsive, and the I have the headphones plugged in now, so you just gotta take my word for it. it actually sounds pretty good. This is not the optimal way of playing this game, but yeah, <laughs> playing this game with a D-pad is a little interesting, but we'll make it work. All right, well, I've got to be honest, I wasn't giving it all the credit in the world, but this actually controls very well. I mean, the buttons are a little mixed up, so that'll take some time to get used to. Um, does it have the... Oh, okay, there's a the ground pad. Oh, and how convenient is that? Instead of trying to jump and then to pull the Z-trigger behind the uh, controller... Wow. Oh my goodness. Cool, actually, it plays interesting. It, it plays decent. Has a couple of games on there, but now I'm curious to see what other games we have. I'm gonna set this down again. And to leave, do I just hit the home button? Cool. And, oh, I see. Um, and then, oh, and with save states and all that, that's good to know. 
and then exit game is B. Okay, and then here we're right back to the title screen. Nintendo 64 is fine, but give me Dreamcast. Oh, we <laughs> even get the startup. Oh, wow. That's funny. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Start? Oh, okay. I'm a little more safe with this game here. Um, and I hear a little bit of sound stuttering. But it's not terrible. Oh. You got that sound a little bit? So, but it plays very well. The sound's a little different, you know, but if you're playing it without sound, it's not terrible. You know, it's not too bad. Now, there's a mode on here where you can just hit... Oh, perfect. Okay. So, I already went through. If you hold down the home button, it pulls up with this uh, menu here, and you can actually set, set up your Wi-Fi. And then I thought this was... I'm, I'm not going to question the legality of it. But once I set up my Wi-Fi and clicked here, here's a bunch more games that apparently you can download. Now, in the interest of time, you know, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, <laughs> watch you watch me download Final Fantasy VII all uh, almost, you know, half a gig worth. But I can find a smaller game just to see if it see how it goes here. I see Dreamcast, 64 games. Oh, there's Mario Kart 64 again. We got Pepsi Man. Now, I'm curious... Let's check out Pepsi Man. I'm going to hit A and install. And then does it just install from there? Oh, it's going. Okay, cool. Now, can I back out of it while well, it's installing and hit, hook up something else here? Now, my Wi-Fi is not great. Well, I'm going to try backing out. I don't know. Now, if I go back into it, is it still installing? Well, it's still going. I mean, there's still 7% anyway. Find something less than a... Oh, here we go. Just anything is good. Three Kingdoms 2. Not that I'd play that one, but go for it. Now, I've been sitting here for about a minute. Nothing's happened. Um, I wonder if it's because something else is downloading. There it is. Um, I see Task Manager here. Oh, and that's exactly what happens. Okay, so it shows you that you know one game is downloading. Interesting. So you can just set up a batch file. You can just go through and you know click download on a bunch of them. Leave your system plugged in, <laughs> and then go to sleep. Wake up with a with a bunch more games. Okay, and it just installed, apparently. Uh, let's see if, if they're there somewhere. So if we're in the categories, uh, Pepsi Man, or Pepsi Superman, according to this game. Um, oh, and here it is, right down here. Check it out. Yep, that's, that's Pepsi Man. <laughs> oh, lovely. So interesting that it comes preloaded with a ton of games, and then you can download extra games at no additional cost to you, which again, I question the legality of it, but this thing does exist, and it's available. Again, link in the description below if you're interested. I'm going to continue playing some Pepsi Man, and thank you for watching. We'll see you real soon.